They arrived Monday morning, and they would not leave until Sunday evening. Hard ground ball to first, glove by Derna, takes it to the bag himself, and Franco retired, three unassisted. Not taking effect. Fastball chopped to second, Zinn has it, flips to short, out there, Nareda first, out there, double play, and the inning is over. They have three high-end lefties right now in their system. And Roderer takes strike three, called on a fastball. And that'll do it for the Cubs in the second inning, the first strikeout for Liberatore. The factor, the last month, that affected his offense. Breaking ball near the outside corner called strike three. Ramey hides his face behind his mitt as he gets the sign from Eric Gonzalez. Gregorio tried to call time, was not granted time, and then swings through a high fastball. Top of their lineup hitting 269. Swing and a miss, and Ramey strikes out the side in the third. Liberatore's fastball, a swing and a miss by Zinn. He's moving, 2-0 pitches low, Gonzalez gets out of the crouch, throws to second, it's close, and Frank goes out. Being held on by Derna. 2-0 on the way, Custar takes outside, pick throw to first by Gonzalez, he's Ooh. out! Eric Gonzalez picks off Grant Witherspoon at first, he threw out Wander Franco, and Eric is responsible for two-thirds of the outs. Here in the fourth inning. Here in the fourth. Libertor worked from the stretch, about, but a bouncer to second. Picked up by Proctor to second for one. Franco on the first to double play. Four promoted to Hudson Valley. Custar takes strike three call. Ramey picks up the K. He's six foot five. They're the same exact height. That's something he hasn't done before. Called strike three. Slide step down the middle, and again he gets strike three called. He has never done that before against the South Bend Cup. That threw in the All-Star game. Swing and a ground ball, base hit in the left field. Cubs have their first hit of the ball game. Davis will make the turn at first and jog in the second. There's that first hit, just a dribbler down the third base line. And again, we're going to score this ball game just like that. The go-ahead run is in scoring position. Off of second, some good speed. Outfield play shallow, ground ball towards the middle. Pass Franco into center. Davis will make the turn at third. Relay throw comes in, it's late. Derna hustles in the second. Off the glove of the shortstop, Proctor. And Derna's gonna be safe at second. Meanwhile, the Cubs take the one to nothing lead. Back to back base hits. Three and two the count on the top prospect in the minors, Franco. Runners go, fastball at the knee, strike three, call. Franco can't believe it. $20 donation, Jordan Automotive to the Food for Kids program, providing meals to over 2,000 kids a week in Patterson. With three shutout innings, that's his third strikeout of the night. That facility, long drive to deep left center field. Davis on his horse in the alley. Can he make the catch? He lunges, he's got it with the glove in the left hand. Terrific running catch by the 19-year-old Davis. And ladies and gentlemen, the Bowling Green Hot Rods are down to their 27th and final out. The next pitch, breaking ball, swing, and a miss. And that's a South Bend Cubs winner. Cubs won, hot rods, nothing. Both teams have won a game in this series via the shutout. Hot rods won two nothing last night. Cubs win tonight by a final score of one to nothing. High fives in the middle of the diamond as the Cub players celebrate a 1-0 victory. Peyton Remy gets a no decision, but five shutout innings for the Cub starter. Jack Patterson came out of the bullpen. He won the game with three shutout frames.